Hello, this is Vasvi from At Home Tuition. We were doing some problems on coordinate geometries. In this video, let us see how to find the area of a triangle in the coordinate geometry when three points are given. Okay, when the three coordinates are given, uh, how do you find the area of a triangle? Finding the area of a triangle given three coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Okay, I just take the points as this. Imagine this is A, B and C. Okay. Area of triangle A, B, C will be equal to half the modulus or absolute value of x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2. Okay. We take the modulus value of this, the absolute value, because the area cannot be in negative, right? So, even if you get a negative answer here, when you take the absolute value of it, it becomes positive. Understood? All you need to do is just apply these values in the formula and find out the answer. So, I have taken few questions. Let us just see how to work that out. Find the value of k for which the points are collinear. When do you say that the three points are collinear? We say that the three points are collinear only when they are all in the same line, right? When all of them form a straight line. So in this case, if this is A, B, C, then it is just a straight line and there is nothing like area to be found out, right? So the area of this A, B, C, the points which are collinear, is equal to 0. So use the area formula equated to 0 because uh, for co if the points are collinear then the area is equal to 0. Okay. And just solve for k. Area is equal to 0. Okay. Now let me uh, do the area formula here. So it is half modulus of the absolute value of x1. Here this is your x1. This is your y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Okay. So I'm just going to substitute the values here. x1. x1 is 7 times y2. y2 minus y3. Right. So that's 1 minus k. Right. Plus x2. x2 is 5 times y3 minus y1 that is k minus of minus 2 plus x3 x3 is 3 times y1 minus y2 so that's minus 2 minus 1 close the absolute value and say this is equal to 0 okay now let us solve this so here it would be the absolute value of this is 7 minus 7k right plus 5k and here see this is just distribute you are just distributing these like this okay use the distributive property and do now this is minus of minus 2 is 4 plus 4 5 times 4 is 20 okay so that's a plus 20 here, since you have uh, directly, you can do this minus two times minus two minus one is minus three, minus three times three is minus nine. So, this is not positive, I take it as negative nine. Close the absolute value is equal to zero. So, I just take the two that sides, I mean, multiply throughout by two so that half goes right, multiplying throughout by two, the half goes here you will have just put all the numbers together like terms together so that's here you have minus 7k and plus 5k right so that's a negative 2k so that's 18 minus 2k is equal to 0 2k equals 18 so the k value is k is equal to 9 Got it? 
So the value of k is 9 in the first question. So that's done. Let's go on to the second one. They say a median of a triangle divides it into two triangles of equal areas. Verify this result for triangle ABC whose vertices are given as these, right? So you have a triangle, okay? Just imagine this is the triangle you have, okay? And when you draw the median, I hope you understand, just the line from the opposite vertex to the center of the this side is uh, the median, right? So I just take this point as A, this as B, and this one as C. So your A is 4 comma negative 6, your B is 3 comma negative 2, and your C is 5 comma 2, right? Now, since this is the midpoint, use the midpoint formula and find out what is this value, okay? So, I just take it as M. So, now, the coordinates of M, okay? So, for the X coordinate would be 3, the X values 3 plus 5 over 2, right? X1 plus X2 divided by 2, right? So, I just taken this 3 and 5 divided by 2. So, that's 8 by 2, which is nothing but 4. Okay, I got my x value as 4. Now, to find the y coordinate, the formula is by 2 plus by 1 by 2, right? So, here it is 2 minus 2 divided by 2. So, that's a 0. So, I got the point M as 4, 0. Okay. Now, you have to show that the areas are equal. Let us find the area of A, B, M and also the area of A, C, M and show that these two areas are equal. First, let me write the formula. Area of triangle is equal to half x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 which is y1 minus y2 close the module so now i'm going to find area of the first triangle you have to show that the two areas are equal right so i'm just going to do triangle a b m okay so, just consider the coordinates of A, B and M alone. So, that would be half. I would just do the values. Modulus of 4 times negative 2 minus 0 plus 3 times 0 minus of minus 6. Close it. Plus the next point is 4, right? 4, x3 is 4, y1 minus y2 is minus 6, minus of minus 2, okay? So, that would be equal to half, this is 4 times minus 2, right? So, that's minus 8 plus 18 minus 16. That is equal to half, uh, this is plus 10 minus 6, right, times minus 6. Modulus of minus 6, so that is going to be 3 unit square, 3 unit square. Now let us find the area of the next triangle, that is ACM, okay. Area of triangle ACM. So, that's nothing but half 4, 0, minus 2, plus 4, 2, minus of minus 16, plus 5, minus 6, minus 0, right? So, that would be equal to half modulus of minus 8, plus 32, minus 30. So that will be equal to 
Yeah, this is again minus 6. But you take the absolute value, so your answer would be 3 units square. You have proved that the 2 area, this is 3 units square and this is also 3 units square. Okay? So you have proved that and the final question is, find the area of quadrilateral who is okay. Now you have a quadrilateral. I just draw a random quadrilateral. Okay? So I just draw a line to make this quadrilateral two triangle okay and then find the area of both the triangles using the coordinates and add them up to get the area of the quadrilateral so i'm going to find the area of triangle adc so that is equal to half x1 is minus 4 right minus 4 minus 2 minus 3 plus 3 3 minus of minus 2 plus 2 times minus 2 minus of minus 2. Okay. So this is equal to half 20 plus 15. So that will be 35 over 2. Let's just take it like that because we need to add finally. Right. So I write this as unit square. This is for the first this triangle okay now i'm going to find out the uh, area of abc okay so that would be half modulus of so that's minus 4 times minus 5 minus of minus 2 okay and the second x2 is minus 3 minus 3 minus so of minus 2, okay, minus of minus 2, close the bracket, plus 3, minus 2, minus of minus 5, okay. Just substitute the values, that's all. So that will give you half, this is 12, so that gives you half times 21, that's all. So that will give you the answer 21 over 2. So you got this as the second triangle. Now you just need to find the area. Area of uh, quadrilateral is equal to area of two triangles. So that would be 35 over 2 plus add up both the area. And you get, since the denominator are same, you can add up the numerator. So that's 56 over 2. You can just leave it as 52 by 2. Or you can say uh, 28. Okay. I hope you would have understood this formula like how to find the area of a triangle. And how it is applied in problems like this. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.